content area. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer. I'm going to drag it down underneath. And I'm just going to hold shift and drag it down. You see, you can see this background one that I just duplicated underneath it. Now I don't like the color on it, so I want it a little bit darker so it stands out. This is going to be my nav bar. So I'm going to hold control and click down on this. And it selects it underneath. I'm going to get my gradient tool and I'm just going to pick two dark colors. Not black. I'm just going to make... Alright, when you get a color you like, just go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and add some text now. I'm just going to use a gray from in there. Do, this is 18 Arial now. Home, about, artwork and contact All right, now that I have my nav I'm gonna fix these sides I don't like the stroke on that so I'm gonna go back to my background layer right here and I'm gonna double click on stroke I'm gonna change this to two pixels for the size but I'm not gonna have it on the outside I'm gonna change this to inside which kind of brings it all in a little bit more then I'm going to change the color of this to a bit of a darker gray. All right. So there's my top content area. I'm going to drag all of my content down a little bit to center it up a bit. All right, so. Now that I have my top, I'm going to decide which page I want to create. I'm going to go ahead and do artwork. So just to show that I'm on the artwork page, this is kind of a, setting a guideline for what I'm coding. I'm going to show, have it green. And this is basically going to be my color effect every time somebody mouses over one of these navbar images. It's going to change the text to green. Just pre-planning for when I start coding. So for the content, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to grab the marquee tool. And I'm just going to make a box. I'm going to fill this in with color. I'm not going to use a gradient. Normally, you don't want to use gradients for your content, just because of when you're coding, it's generally not the easiest or the lightest thing to have on your server. Um, I'm going to just use a light gray. Just like that. Kind of matches the background a little bit too much, so I'm going to right click the layer. And I'm going to go to blending options. And of course, stroke. And I'm going to do two pixels. And I'm just going to choose a light gray that kind of matches. I'm going to go ahead and go with probably this one right here. Okay. Now that I have my content area, this is where my content's going, I'm going to grab a couple images of previous artwork I've made, and I'm just going to bring these into Photoshop. I'm going to drag these in to my document. Alright, now I'm just going to line these up. And once I have them all lined up, I'm just going to go ahead and add a title to all of these. It doesn't have to be perfect, really, because when you're making your Photoshop document, it's more of just a guideline for when you code it. 
you're not going to be coding exactly how it looks in Photoshop. Like, you can move things around how you feel like when you code because you may change your mind on how things are set. So I'm going to go ahead and add title to all these now, though. Do this one, Showbiz. And this is GFX Cube Tuts. Now since this is my artwork, they'll be able to click on these when I code this.